We're pulling into the town of Boonville, California. It's uh, got a population of about a thousand, but it's a very special place. It used to uh, be so remote that it developed its own language. And I came here in 2001, 14 years ago, in the LAFCO school bus. We had the school bus that was dedicated to uh, bringing digital filmmaking tools to small rural areas and to artists who were used to working in other media. And uh, I was with two friends and we parked by a little bridge here and this woman came out and started talking with us and she was a journalist for the local newspaper which is called the Anderson Valley Advertiser. And she wrote a little piece about us called Taking, Taking the Mountain to a Thousand Mohammeds. And I remember being really surprised by the, the quality of the writing. And uh, I, I, I later learned that the Anderson Valley Advertiser is one of the most well-known newspapers in the country, especially amongst uh, people on the left. And Bruce Anderson is the uh, editor of, of the newspaper. And uh, we're gonna interview him today and talk about print media. This, it calls itself the last newspaper in America. And another amazing coincidence is that I was married to the niece of one of the most famous journalists who wrote for the Anderson Valley Advertiser, Alexander Coburn. And so yesterday when we, we went into to see Bruce Anderson, I'm, I'm here traveling with my dear friends James Fox and Bella Freud and their son Jimmy, who's behind the camera right now. And yesterday we, we, we came here and we went to the offices of the Anderson Valley Advertiser and they had uh, were familiar with me because I had shot all these photos and videos of Alexander Coburn which they now have in uh, that they've run in their in their newspaper and um, so I want to talk to Bruce Anderson uh, with Roisin about the state of print media I want to talk about the role of a small town newspaper in this world of uh, uh, 24-hour news cycle, uh, in this time of everything being online. What is the point of having this beautiful newspaper? And, and then how does something like this compete with something like the New York Times or the Washington Post? Uh, you can see that it's a beautiful paper. I mean, Anderson Valley Advertiser, it has this great logo, and then it has these, these uh, revolutionary slogans, hasta la victoria siempre, and fanning the flames of discontent. And they take small uh, local issues and write about them in great detail and with, you know, surprising depth. And, uh, and people subscribe to this paper around the country. And my former uncle, Alexander Coburn, was one of their star journalists. And um, so this office that we're gonna go see is amazing, full of uh, communist propaganda, and uh, Bruce Anderson himself is quite a character. So you'll see. That was good, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was the best one, I think. Okay, cut.